Indeed, I'm eating Passios. <coughs> Better cook those stones. My two receivers leading the league in receiver yards. Sent a number of all four of his mistakes. This boy is too bad. Bring it out there, Anthony. Are you feeling out of the such a strong performance? I think I'm gonna be humble. I'm proud of what we accomplished as a team. We have a talented group of guys that's in this locker room. Yeah, two for more than five touchdowns. That's still the three on the year. Tell me what's going this mean to you. And be proud. It's a team testament to the hard work I put in all year. It's definitely something I take pride in. Coach Paul says you're a star and a pillar of this team. How about you feel about those compliments? Give credit to the team, give the team credit. I take a lot of pride in the, being the leader of this team. But I know I couldn't do it without the support of the, my teammates. And it's good. Week 14, the playoff pitch here so far. Right now, we're number, sitting at number three seed. Eagles number one in the NFC. Somebody called me out. Called out by a star player. A team at once. You should want. A team at once. You to know your opponent who called you out this week. Hmm. Nothing. I want to give you her some up charges this week. We're gonna make her have some hair for the Delaware and some some resume at the second game. I'll be ready. I'm ready for him. to him. That's what I'm ready for Be careful. Sammy Jr. is quick, physical, and has a high football IQ. 
they show up now and see you at the facility. Unravel request unlocked. Finish the game with the video of the finish the game with the video. I'm probably gonna do that. Okay, I know how to do that. It's week 15 of the National Football League, and we'll see the Buccaneers' electric quarterback. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Buccaneers and the Chargers coming up next. From the West Coast, we're coming to you live from the NFL's newest... to begin their first drive. Leading them out, already a leader of the offense in just his first season, this rookie from Florida. A 400-plus yard passing day, it takes everybody. It takes protection, it takes your eligible playmakers to make those catches and gain your yards, and it also takes a red-hot quarterback playing with tremendous confidence and belief in what he can do. Now, his teammates are counting on him to do it again. Look at his numbers on the ground from last week here. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Every time. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. Oh, man, they do. Looking to throw here, 
shake off that previous INT. And the catch is made down the right sideline. Great effort there. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Pass play on first and 10. Falls to the ground, now left, incomplete. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on coverage of this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Or he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. He's got it, room to run. And they get this down to the 28. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Here's a give up the middle. And he drives into a pile of defenders and is stopped right at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. They go play action here. Bails out of the pocket quick. He tucks it and takes off. And he's going to be out of bounds right along the 20. Still third down. That is the holding penalty. Uh, do that. The Chargers into a nickel set. Third down. Takes the handoff. Now to throw. That's caught for the first. And he's all the way to the five before going out of bounds. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. Move the chains! Gotta move their chains! Build momentum to keep that defense on its heels. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Working inside the red zone. Got it! And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. That's a modest little drag route, but if you ever just need a safe, short gain on the throw, to go to out to target. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. QB sneak coming. And he's going to haul it in for the Tampa Bay touchdown. The Buccaneers tie and can take the lead here in the second. It's tried and true in 32 playbooks across the NFL for a reason, Brock. Even when teams see this one coming, just so tough to stop a quarterback sneak. It feels like a win in today's football is just to stall them at the line on that play. So many groups are so effective with the QB sneak, but that time, the timing of the call, I think, was most important that led to the score. Palmer coming in motion left. They'll throw to begin this drive. Finds his man. It's Godwin. And he's brought down after a short game. Second down now. Seven to go. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Five yards on the play. They could just do that again. Third and two coming up. trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. He finds the open man there, complete. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. 
Yeah, I love that effort. Adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch. And it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. We're at the two-minute warning now from SoFi. The Buccaneers pushing for a bigger lead before halftime. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Dropping back to throw. Fires over the middle. Caught. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. Give them an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. From the red zone now. Caught on the left side. Score! Touchdown, Tampa Bay! The Buccaneers grow their lead just before halftime. All right, so this solid first half continues for Brock. They're into the end zone to extend their advantage. And I think if you're a head coach, you've got to be very happy with the effort so far. You always preach about coming out strong, and they've been the ones dictating the tempo. As a result, they add to their lead. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. On target to Godwin. And it'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. They pick up 20 yards there. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. They go play action on first. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. I can't and stop it. I can't stop it. Well, so far, they've got to be pretty happy with how he's been leading their offense. It has been a great start. And I'd hesitate to say it's only going to get better, especially if they really decide to keep running this offense through that quarterback's arm. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. Play action on first down. Oh, here is that That's an automatic touchdown. And he finishes off the play. Right before the half. Touchdown. The Buccaneers will add to their lead at the end of the half. There sure was a lot of trust on that play, Brock, and he proved worthy of it with that end result. Yeah, good old receiver. Someone who just knows how to get it into the end zone is worth his weight in gold to a QB. And on that throw, there was trust there that he had a shot to find Pater.
first and ten, they're going to throw. Got his man on the end. Complete. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. And creates space to take that shot downfield. Running for the marker on second. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Asante Samuel Jr. on the tackle. A game of skill. First down. Palmer coming in motion left. From midfield now. The dump off complete to his running back. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. I know coordinator and quarterback will be upset with that first down because you call a screen on first, you're thinking stay ahead of schedule. Even a minimal game to stay on pace, but instead, the defense creates a negative play and sets him back behind the sticks. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. I'll tell you this, you don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win. And there aren't a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. Got a man. Coverage lost him. Complete. And he's brought down a little short. No. Actually, they do give him the 10-yard line. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Throwing it again here. On the move. Headed right. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end be careful with that. I just hate that. I just hate to see that everything on the play was done so well. Everybody did their job. But you gotta finish. You don't get many chances to make that type of play for your team. You gotta come through on that touchdown. And it's a game down to the five-yard line. Now after that play, we've got somebody shaken up. And you don't want to see serious injury in the midst of their playoff push. He's being looked at here. It's third and goal, back to throw. Mm, it's I didn't get it. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole. But you never want to leave it short. Haven't gotten it done. Now a fourth to try to reach that end zone. And the QB keeps it on the sneak. And he's not going to reach the end zone. They bring him down at the one. And they step him on fourth and goal. What a stand, Brock, to force the turnover there on downs. Pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. And how about the other side? Beating the defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand, yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop him on third and goal.
Airing it out to start this drive. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Timing is everything in life. The timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Second and ten now. This ball's cut by Palmer. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. It's a 21-yard gain. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Irving on the inside give. And he runs into a wall there. Multiple defenders ready to stop him cold at the line. No gain there that time. And it's second and ten. When you rush the passer, it's kind of like tracking down a runner. That same pass, same athleticism comes to life. He looked pretty good hunting his prey right there. All start. Awesome. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. So things getting a bit tougher following that penalty. We've got second and 15. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. Open receiver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he does quite a bit of damage <laughs> before they finally take him down. I love everything about that play, Kate, so much for a quarterback. When you throw in that crossing route, it's imperative that you lead that receiver. You don't throw where he's at, you throw where he's going. And when you do, yards after catch follow. He's got it! score it's a Tampa touchdown the Buccaneers parlay the interception into points well this machine has been firing on all cylinders this game partner and it continues firing as that lead grows yet again and those who've tried to get in the way of that machine you're talking about namely the defense well they've paid the price over and over and over again Back in his own end zone, looking to throw. To left sideline, complete. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. 35 on the pickup. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Big play to begin the drive. That's up to the 37. Throwing now on first down. Mm. Too much here. The That's set. And the big play drives the backward second down. Coming up. Another try following the sack. Oh, that set the game. Be mad. Be mad. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop with the 46 yard line. A big 34 yard pick up there. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. We've hit the two minute warning here in Tampa. Buccaneers getting closer to their 10th win of the season. Takes the handoff, now to throw. He finds the open mm, end, mm. complete. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. 
They got 24 yards. Gonna get 500 passing yards. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well drawn up completion that nets them a first down. They have themselves another first and ten. Oh, look at this. He's setting up to throw. It's caught. And even 20 yards on the play, and it awards them with a first and goal. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Wow, they're going to pass it here. Oh, no. It's intercepted. It's on defense. It's the it's my fault. I'm just trying to read it. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. Give him 24 on that play. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. And he continues to rise higher and higher as this game goes on. That's now a 500-yard performance for him. Less than 30 times that's ever happened, which puts in perspective the enormity of what he's accomplished here. Oh, brother, he's up. Picked up Cam Hart. And the Chargers are going to have it. And he's going to hang on to that football. That's his first career interception. So it's a win for the Buccaneers. And they continue playing their best ball of the season over this recent stretch as they pick up a sixth consecutive victory. I didn't throw 80% of my passes, but that's pretty good. That's all for this video. I'll see you on the next game. Thanks for watching.